Exploring emotions in music. My project is writing music in varied genres and covering songs in a new genre while seeing the opposing factors that go into the emotions being portrayed through music. Since joining Bath College last year, I feel I've grown very far and learned a lot. My improved time management skills will keep my weekly schedule in check and up to date, and I've set it so there is spare time to use if need be. I hope to complete a well-rounded project that represents myself and the music I desire to make in my musical career. Context, the idea. I hope to write songs in varied genres, uh, two to four, to cover songs in opposing genres, two to four, and search, research into key aspects that portray emotions through music, experiment with whether imagery affects how the music is perceived, to research into what dictates one genre from another and see if lyrics make a big difference to the listeners to, to the listeners' enjoyment on the song. I'm aiming to write three songs in different genres to, own, to not only challenge myself to my writing abilities but also look into how different genres make li listeners feel. This will feed into my research. This will be made into an EP when all is finished. I will be covering three to four songs of my choosing, but in different genres such as rock to jazz or indie to soul, to investigate whether lyrics hold a large margin of emotional attachment to music or whether it's certain aspects of the genre or rhythm, or so on and so forth. I will also be doing a parallel investigation with imagery paired with my music to see if it changes how the song is viewed. Research. Primary. I'd like to interview a studio engineer at Real World Studios to gain a knowledge of recording techniques for different sound, genre, sounds and genres, to make a Google form survey to see what music genres people enjoy and what aspects of the genre that they enjoy the most, and to interview with a band musician to see what it's like to write within a band environment. As last year I did all my songs writing myself and performing myself that I did digitally on Logic, and I'd like to get some band people to play instruments for me. Um, anyway. I'd like to ask in my interview with a studio engineer things such as mic distance, mic setting and aspects such as compression and EQ. For the secondary, I'd like to study into the properties of different genres, learning to record layered harmonies and photography on a digital camera. I would like to ask questions such as what makes a genre a genre? What traits and qualities. Do visuals like videos and images change the experience of a song? Um, yeah. Secondary. For my secondary, I'll be doing production techniques to help when creating and recording my songs. So this is stuff as such as recording harm layered harmonies and recording different genres such as acoustic guitar and such so and so forth. Um, I am new to recording, so I need to learn lots of new techniques for my thing, for my project, as to get the outcome I desire. Research into different genres that I want to write in. So here I've got some videos and links to websites that will help me write in different genres, um, such as neo soul and acoustic, and looking into subgenres such as jazz subgenres and so on. There we go. Primary. Mixing music in various genres. I'm doing work experience at Real World Studios with a studio engineer to depict what mixing techniques can be used when finalising and recording in different genres. I will also interview an engineer to get more information on the matter and learn more about mic setup, which I will put into practice when recording, as I'd like to record an acoustic song using a mic technique such as figure of eight bidirectional. And yeah. Question. Yeah. Will you do that recording at Real World or are you going to do it here? I'm hoping to do it at Real World. Okay, cool. Yeah. You can obviously or here, yeah. like, do a demo before you get to Real World and here to test it yes. and then do it at Real World. So, yeah, you, yeah. you've got the opportunity try, to look yeah, into that. Try it out. Awesome. Um, I'd also like to do a, um, a Google Forms survey with people to find out key aspects to include in my music and what effects on the music listener. I'll construct a Google form survey asking people what draws them to certain genres and what they enjoy to listen to. A second survey, when my project is all finished and complete, is I'd like to check back with them with different sections of my project and see what is most important and what they found to make them feel separately about the songs. Um, so 
I will have to I will have them listen to my first my music first with zero imagery and then I will have them read the lyrics paired with my photography that I've done for them and ask the question on the ask them what is the they found different from the different experiences of listening to the music and reading the lyrics to see what was most important to them. Digital imagery. The photography section of my project is stemmed from a poetry book that I've been reading, in which each poem is paired with a digital photo related to the words. This inspired me to question whether this would affect how lyrics were perceived too. And so I've purchased a camera and done some trial runs with taking photos. And so I'm going to either be making a physical copy of a book with paired with my lyrics paired with a photo um, to see if imagery affects how they perceive it and give them a glimpse of what it's like. Um, yeah. Research for photography. I've looked at websites that will help me, such as I've looked at the website that dissects the poetry book that I've been taking inspiration from. I have also found a website for some photography basics that will help me when taking photos. I've also been, I'm going to set up an interview with a photography student to go into depth with the functionalities of a digital camera and tips towards portraying a message through images, as I feel that's something I don't know much about. Um, I want the readers and listeners to get a glimpse visually of the meaning behind my music. Um, since deciding on adding photography into my project, I've been practicing capturing moments in time to prepare myself, but I will practice much more before my final result. And with images, and with the images that I capture, I'd like to capture a moment of emotion shown in these images as laughter and love. There you go. Practice skills. I have some practice skills, um, practical skills <laughs> that I already have, such as some mic setting up skills that I'm not as advanced with yet. Um, lyric writing, basic photography as I did it in secondary school, and editing images, which I also did in secondary school. I'd like to gain some recording skills, which I'll learn through my research, writing in varied genres, microphone knowledge, such as types and patterns, mixing skills, such as compression, reverb, and EQ. Inspiration for my tracks. I've looked at different artists such that I enjoy in different genres, and so yeah, these are some of the songs that I'd like to take inspiration from when rewriting different genres. Problem solving. Within my project I'll be working with other artists and it's likely I'll have sessions booked that will fall through. Because of this, I have to prepare my, by either having a backup musician to fill in or putting my written music in manually on Logic. Another setback would be if any of my interviews don't pan out. Luckily, I have a very helpful lecturers which are very experienced in the industry which have said that I may interview them if need be. I'm consistently suffering with writer's block and being stumped on ideas. I will try to overcome this by doing new things that will inspire me, such as going somewhere new and listening to new music. Presentation for my project. I will display all my work on a Wix website in sections that will be labelled. I will upload screen copies of my lyric diary, lyric diary, and I will upload screenshots of my logic projects when writing my music. I will either create a section devoted to my digital imagery um, online with the lyrics on the song next to the imagery, or, um, a f or an online copy um, with the actual music with the things. And um, I've got my weekly schedule planned out, which I'm going to keep in check and I've made sure that I've got spare times and I can adjust it if need be. You've got one minute left. Okay. Blogs and evaluation. My website will consist of a weekly blog where I'll write up many weekly updates on what I've managed to complete and what I may need to do differently with the following weeks. In my evaluation, I will go into depth about my findings from my project and how different elements of my project affected the listener. I will write about which elements had the upper hand and what I've learnt from my project, as well as how all the songs and recordings went referring to my proposal. I will include audio files such as primary interviews of proof, as well as both primary and secondary information I've researched and relevant pictures. I will refer back to my proposal and my weekly blog in my weekly vlog and say what I've managed to do and what I haven't. Cool. Yeah. All right, sweet. Okay, brilliant. How many seconds did I have left? 16. Come on, Jazz. I was like, all right. Okay, so. It's like speed reading at the end. Nice. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah, that's good. Oh, is that it? Um, I just, uh, yeah, I think.